Welcome to this video on classifying a triangle by its angles, solving for interior angles, and solving for exterior angles. This one is geared towards my K-level students. First off, we can classify a triangle by its angles, and a lot of this should be review. So just pause the video and copy down this chart if you don't already have it, and look how it works. Equal angular means all the angles are the same. Acute means all the angles are less than 90. Right means one right angle, and obtuse is one angle bigger than 90. By sides, equilateral means all sides are congruent. Isosceles means two sides are congruent. And scalene means no sides are congruent. You can name a triangle both by its angles and by its sides. The triangle angle sum theorem states that the sum of the measure of the angles of a triangle is 180. So if I add angle A and angle B and angle C, I'm going to get 180 degrees. You should remember that back from a couple years ago in middle school math. So let's try a few problems with it. For each of these, when I get to it, you should pause the video, try it out, and then come back and see if you get it right. So we know these angles have to equal 180. So 50 plus 24 plus x equals 180. 74 plus x equals 180. Subtract the 74, so x equals 106 degrees. Okay, let's solve for x here. You see vertical angles, so that makes this 50. 50 plus 39 plus x equals 180. 89 plus x equals 180. Subtract 89, so x equals 91 degrees. Once again, I'm moving through these pretty fast, so if you need to pause it, go ahead and do that. And I would once again pause before each slide as well. Okay, here you have a couple different triangles. In this triangle, you can see, okay, we have 90 and 61, so I need 29 more to make 180. These two angles have to add up to 90, so I need 61 to be here. And this is congruent to this, so 61 as well. Or you could have seen that this angle and this angle were both 90 degrees. There are two lines cut by a transversal, and they're same side interior, which are supplementary, because 90 plus 90 is 180. So these lines would actually be parallel, and these would be alternate interior angles. There's a couple of ways you could get to the 61 there. All right, definitely try this one out and see what you can do with it. Okay, you have an isosceles triangle here at the bottom because you have two congruent angles. So you subtract 100 from 180 and you get 80. That's what these two angles should add up to. You divide that in two and you get 40 degrees and 40 degrees. Well, this piece is congruent to this piece, so that's also 40. Same here as 40. Now, the trick that you'll far, fall for here is to say that x is 100. So just say, oh, 40 and 40, that's 80. I only need 100 more. But you have to be careful because of the big triangle, this is the whole angle, and this is the whole angle. So 40 plus 40 is 80. 40 plus 40 is 80, so that's 160. So I need 20 more to get to 180. All right, let's try this one out now. So pause it if you need to to do it, and then we'll work it together. Here you'll see a linear pair which adds up to 180. So 180 minus 120 gives me 60. The linear pair is 90, so I need another 90. Well, you actually don't even need that part. If you look at the big triangle, you'll see 60 here, 90 here. That gives you 150. So you only need 30 more for x. You could have gone that route to 30 here. Then to get 90, you need 60. And then you need 30 more. So a couple ways you could do that one as well. All right, let's talk about a ratio problem. The ratio of the angles of a triangle are 2 to 3 to 4. So that means one angle will be 2 times some common number, another angle will be 3 times some common number, and the last thing will be 4 times some common number. And that common number we're going to call x. And we know the three angles of a triangle up to 180. So 2x plus 3x plus 4x equals 180. 9x equals 180, so x equals 20. So 1 is 2 times the common number, which we found is 20, so 40 degrees. Another one is 3 times the 20, so 60 degrees. And finally, 4 times the 20, which is 80 degrees. And finally, on this triangle interior sum, let's do an algebraic one. In a right triangle, the measure of one acute angle is 2 more than 3 times the measure of the other. So we got three angles, angle 1, angle 2, angle 3. Well, because it's a right triangle, we know the first angle has to be 
90 degrees. Okay? The other one is going to be 3 times the other angle plus 2. So we'll call the other angle x, so 3 times x plus 2. And that leaves the third angle is x, of course. So x plus 3x plus 2 plus 90 equals the 180. x plus 3x, 4x plus 92 equals 180. Subtract the 92, so 4x equals 88. So x equals 22. You can plug that in. You find the first angle is 90. 22 times 3 is 66, plus 2 is 68. And then just 22 would be your three angles. Okay, and that's going to go ahead and wrap up our interior angle. The next slide we'll look, the next video we'll look at is the exterior angle theorem. Thank you for watching.